NFL Network presents the Lexus Halftime Report. Welcome in, everybody. Wow, we are here in the weather in Jacksonville, and that has not stopped the Jaguars from jumping out to a quick lead here, 14-0 over the Titans. And so far, this has been Gardner Minshew's game, might I say. We talked about it a little bit. In the uh, pregame show, I'm Colleen Wolf here with Steve Smith Sr., Joe Thomas, and Michael Irvin. So, Irv, so far, what have you seen? Well, Steve said, don't crown him yet, not just yet. But he's showing that he's trying to earn that crown, Steve. He is playing well. Starting to miss all over the field. 13 of 18, 125 yards. Two touchdowns, a passer rating of 128. And look at these throws. These are, these are great designs for when you have a young quarterback in there. And that was just a spectacular play by the quarterback, putting the ball right where the receiver can get it, and also by the receiver. Gardner Minshew's playing great. He is playing great. And their defense for the Jacksonville playing Jaguars great. are playing extremely well. Whether they're allowing uh, to Henry not to do is run the football. They have been gang tackling, and Calais Campbell has a permanent residence, green car, whatever you want to say, in the backfield for the yes. Tennessee Titans. Every time something doesn't work, it's because Calais Campbell He's is in there. the way, and A.J. Boye, take the handcuffs off A.J. Brown, because that young man is having a tough day, baptism by fire. Let's right make now. a quick point to this. It looks like, I'm just saying it looks like they're getting the play a lot more man coverage than they've had played than they played in the past. Thank you, Jalen Ramsey. So maybe the <laughs> disruption worked. He yeah, got what he wanted. I'm just they saying. I'm just listening saying. to him. Yeah. I tell you, the Titans, they're in a tough situation right now. They're not where they want to be. When they're playing from behind, that is not their sweet spot because they're a team that wants to play good defense, run the football, and allow Mariota to be conservative. Just don't turn the football over and we can win. So what I'd like to see from Arthur Smith is allow those running backs and tight ends to get out in those routes a little bit quicker. They're, they're chipping on almost every play. Get them out. Allow some more flat control. Get some spacing and some space in that secondary. And let Mariota open it up and throw the football down the field to try to get back in this football game. Right. But they can't give up on the run game just yet because otherwise they have no chance to get back. They still need to run the football a little bit. It's only 14 points. Yeah, the Jags did a great job coming out with the quick start and basically taking Derrick Henry out of the game yes. because he's not not able to run the ball at this point. The Titans offensive line has been struggling all night long and you have to wonder, <laughs> struggle struggle bus. Bus, you have to wonder how long are they gonna stick with Marcus Mariota? Should I throw it out no, there? It's a, nah, it has nothing nah. to do with that. Nobody's they taking the bait there. They need to slide no protection and nah. get some help on the center because Calais Campbell is going From to the town U. on the You're center. Right. Yep. I, I agree. For the record, I am not saying that they should go to Ryan Tannehill. I just want everybody to be clear on that. Okay, tomorrow, NFL Films takes a look at one of the greatest tight ends of all time, a football life, Tony Gonzalez. That's coming up tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on NFL Network. Week three of the NFL season continues Sunday on CBS and Fox. Check your local listings for the game in your area. Stream games on mobile with the Yahoo Sports and NFL apps. This broadcast is copyrighted by NFL Productions for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the consent of NFL Productions is prohibited. Hey guys, don't forget, coming up Sunday, 9 a.m. Eastern, start your weekend all right with game day morning and this week our Steve Smith had a chance to catch up with Lamar Jackson. So after putting up 324 yards passing and five touchdowns you say not bad for a running back. <laughs> explain that to me. Regardless of what people may say you're gonna see you know the negative comments and stuff what people saying. I see it all so I'm not finna fight against them people. You know it's gonna always be naysayers, doubters, that's the part of the game that's like, going to make people eat their words. And that's my job, to make you eat your words. Okay, so kind of breaking down this matchup a little bit. By the way, I can't wait to see the rest of that interview. Um, how can the Ravens and Lamar Jackson keep up with the Chiefs? Can they coming up on Sunday? I don't believe they can keep up with them offensively because they just run a different offense but what they can do is make sure they keep their eyes on their luggage defensively get some disruption in the backfield and make 
Patrick Mahomes get off his spot. If he doesn't get off his spot and he gets comfortable, he will carve you up like a surgeon. Yeah, but now if they can get a strong running game going to kind of keep him on the sidelines yes. sometime and make and control the ball, and then if this dude, this Hollywood, Marquise Brown, get down like he's been getting down, he's been averaging over 100 yards a game, and this kid has been making plays up the field that surprised me, honestly, for his size to be able to make some of the plays that he's made, the catch he made last week to, to, to seal the game for the Ravens. If he can get some big plays out of this kid, keep them in that fight, they'll have a slim, slim chance. Oh, well, we know the stories on the offense here, but to me, the game is going to be about the defenses because the Chiefs rushing defense right now is giving up six yards per carry. Yes. And they haven't seen anybody that looks like Lamar Jackson right, right now in the right. backfield. And, and Mark Ingram. That is a scary them. backfield right. coming at you if I'm the Chiefs defense. That's going to be the story of the game, how much they rush the football. And I think the game is going to be one Ravens rushing the football on the Chiefs defense. That Chiefs defense also has had a hard time with tight ends as well. And we know Mark Andrews has had a great start to the season. He's been yes, one he of has. the most efficient tight ends in the league. So this is going to be a great matchup. Not to mention, it's their home opener in Kansas City. So you know that place is going to be rocking, just like this place has been all game long because Gardner Minshew, there's his dad all fired up. We'll be back with second half action next. Thank you for watching the Lexus Halftime Report. How are we doing? Fabulous. <laughs> I wonder how the firm's doing without its fearless leader. You sure you want to leave that all behind? Yeah. Stay restless with the icon that does the same. The new RX, crafted by Lexus. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer.